Hey guys, welcome to another Server Miner plugin tutorial. I'm your host, LTGym007, and today we look at the Per Player Profiles plugin. So this is a really awesome plugin which allows you to effectively have different saves that you can easily switch between depending on what you're doing. For example, you could have a factions one, then a building or creative one, and it makes it super seamless and everything from your items, inventory, health, XP is all saved. So let's go ahead and jump straight into it. If we do forward slash profile, this brings up a handy GUI. Now it's going to show the profiles we have. So I've got this one, it's going to store our location data as well. And you can see that one's not selected, neither is this one, this one's factions. And then this is the one we're currently on. So if I were to click one of the other ones, such as default, it will teleport us to where we were last with that profile. It will give us the inventory we had. And then if I was in game mode zero, it would also give us the health and hunger and everything like that. Now, if I go back into the profile and go to factions, I was in a similar spot when I created that. And as you can see, I have tons more items and this would be my factions profile. And then of course we could go back to the original one, which is far away over here. So that is an example of how it works. If we want to create a new profile, what we need to do is forward slash profile new. And then I'm going to call this one server miner, hit enter. And that is because we cannot create more than three as defined in the config file. So the way we would get around doing this is by deleting one. So we could delete, for example, test. And then there is a confirmation GUI that pops up, hit enter, and that is going to delete it. Now that we've done that, we can go ahead and do the new command again. And that's going to create our brand new profile and we're currently in that profile right now so I could give myself a load of golden apples for example and then if I were to go back to another profile such as factions and then switch back to server miner here are all my golden apples in the location I was standing when I created that. You can also do the profile switch command and that is an alternative way to switch if you only use the GUI. And then finally, there is the reload command. So if you've made any changes in the config file, such as increasing the amount of profiles you can have, uh, that is what that would do. So here we are in the SMP control panel. You can see there's two YML files. If we jump into profile.yml, this is what it's gonna look like in the GUI. So it's gonna have this title, each profile has a diamond sword as the icon. And then there's a bit of name and law, so it gives you all the information, such as the name, world, location, as we saw, and the status of it as well. And then if we go back into the main config.yml, this is where we can change various things. So max number per player three, that's why I couldn't create a fourth one. And then you have all these options to sync various things for each profile, such as ender chest, inventory, health, effects, hunger, XP, and location. So they are completely separated from one another, which is really great if you wanna have you know, creative versus a factions one. So here we are on this bigger page, you can see it's updated from 1.8 to 1.21. And if we scroll down, you've got the information down here. Make sure if you do download this plugin, you get smart inv as well. That is a required dependency. But if you need a server to host it on, check out serverminer.com for the best and cheapest hosting around. That's it for me. Subscribe, like, comment, and I'll see you next time.